guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the pay to win account and we picked up Titus. We're gonna go ahead and try him out. It did give it fully maxed out. So he does have the nine of nine furniture plus 30 signature item as well as some tier two gear. Fortunately, it doesn't have a faction and we don't have um, our artifact on there, but we're gonna go ahead and roll with it and see exactly what we can do and what we can do with team comps in here. So I'm really hoping that he replaces a couple heroes. I know a lot of the key heroes in here, um, he probably will not replace, but ultimately I wanna see exactly how he's going to do in some formations like this in particular. So here we have the five pole, we have Leica in here, we have um, Lucretia in here, we do have Sav Sophia um, to go ahead and do some more damage. So we're gonna swap him in here. And again, this is really just a test of seeing what he does and what this survivability looks like. I know a lot of people have said with the five pole because of the aura that he puts out that it does really well. So right there he activates. So about seven seconds in was the first activation and he gets destroyed. So a lot of players have been saying that unfortunately when it comes to Titus, um, he is getting destroyed in level deficiencies, guys. Th this is exactly why I want to try him out. Um, not taking a considerable amount of damage, not putting out much damage. It seems like overall he's been a little disappointing it is what a lot of players have said that it has been um, pretty disappointing to see him overall because even there guys, five seconds in. So now he activates. That, that is the first activation. So when he actually comes out and does something, and here we do have a pretty decent deficiency, which is the reason why I really did want to try it uh, with a little bit of a deficiency. A lot of times if you're on lower levels, it's easy to kind of run through it. We've seen that a lot of times, especially when it comes to um, different formations. We have our faction accounts in here. A lot of players have said the same. Putting him into his own formations or current formations do not really seem to be working too well. There has been a couple formations that, again, a lot of players have been working, including possible um, PvP-based formations, but it seems overall, Titus, look at the damage he's taking. He's already pretty close to dead here, guys. Gets a little bit of heal there from Merlin. So we won that one, but let's see what he did. 40 million damage, so not too big. Just worry about Ions on that one. But the thing is, if we can replace him in a couple formations, and that's really what I'm looking at. Guys, he did take a considerable amount of damage there. But remember, he has the mitigation of Merlin, and he has his own built-in mitigation, which could definitely have a really big factor or play a really big factor in that combination there. So here we have Izold. And the other team that a lot of people have been looking at, and we'll go ahead and build it here, is running him with Lucretia because of, again, the survivability. So I have a top couple um, team comps that we've kind of looked like looked at. So this one kind of focuses on Lucretia building it with Titus. So having this combination in here and then Aziz Rowan and the twins for the super cycle. Because remember, when it comes to Titus, guys, he is super focused on energy. That is right, guys, the energy. So right here, we have Aziz as an energy battery. We have Rowan as energy. We have the twins as energy. We also do have him activating right off of the bat, which is exactly what we want to. Don't know how it's gonna look down here for Lucy. I, I thought she was gonna die really quick in this battle. So we got some mitigation there from Aziz. We got the super cycle keeping Titus up with the energy and it really seems like he is going to have to have Aziz, he is going to have to have the twins um, to really keep that energy from exhausting. If he goes right back to the um, stone column form, not gonna make that much of a difference, but look at that guys. So not too bad with that formation, even though we only have level 12 for our tanking, um, our, our tanking tree and the elder tree. So if that was considerably higher, it would probably make a big difference. So I feel like this formation could work possibly without Lucy. So if we add some more crowd control in here, I could see it possibly working. Question is, who is going to survive as crowd control in here? We could try, you know, like a prince possibly because he does have multiple forms of crowd control. Control And also if he does take that burst damage, um, 
He can come back to life with that recall ability, just like we've seen there. Got Titus with some energy. Aziz did go down pretty early there. But there's the stuns, guys, from the Prince, and that is why we love the Prince, and that is why we build it, guys. Look at the chain stuns that are going on here. It's broken, especially when it comes to the Twins, guys. With those chain stuns, look at that, 170 million damage. Again, with those chain stuns that he provides. Th this could be a combination in here that could work. It's tough here with Scrag too. But let's see if the wall can do it, guys. There we go. So he came alive pretty early on that one. He drank Roman's Potion. If you guys didn't notice, Roman's Potion, he did pick up right there. So there's the Super Psycho, meaning Titus's energy is not going to be burned too quickly. But I'm just hoping that survivability aspect. Twins went down there. Look at the stun, guys. There's one stun from Prince. Boom, there's another stun. Even though we can't stun Scrag, it seems like this combination is going to be pretty solid here, guys. Look at that, 164, 164 million damage. So we can get Titus as a tank to do some com considerable damage. It seems like we're just gonna have to get him a little bit more support, make sure there's survivability, because I wonder even with this combination, if we drop like a Merlin in here, I wonder if we could drop Merlin in here to offset it. But like I said before, is I want to try to keep some of the, the unique heroes because if, if we're, that this is a lot, guys, honestly. This is a considerable amount to keep him alive, but I feel like with the Prince, it's gonna work well. Again, just because of the stun aspect that Prince brings to here to allow us to keep the energy up on Titus, keep him alive, and just simply keep him going at this point. But I think that this seems to be a pretty solid combination. Like I said, a lot of people were running um, Lucy in here, which I, I don't see it really making much sense. I think she's going to see she's going to die out really easy. Where I feel like more on the crowd control aspect, especially with the Prince having that recall ability, it seems like it's going to be a pretty solid combination. Other one that we kind of see in which we'll go ahead, we'll strip this formation that I want to try was the stall comp. This is another one. Um. Pretty interesting comp. Remember, this is reliant on Flora doing damage, doing massive, massive damage, and also keeping them alive. So remember, when Taylene dies, she has to be resurrected. When Wukong gets his adds, you have to kill all his adds. When Thorin dies, he has to be resurrected again. And I'm hoping the mitigation we're going to find out of Titus is going to allow this team to really blossom. So there we go, guys. He is up in the aura. Boom. He pops up right there, but he's pretty dead. But look at the stall team, guys. This is what the team is all about. Is just the stall. Let's try it once more. Let's try him on the bottom. Maybe Entendre won't burn him down as fast. There we go, guys. He's up. He's shielded. Remember, he also doesn't have an artifact. Let's see. He dies out really quick. I feel like the stall team could definitely work. Um... Might take a little bit more crowd control out of here, but really getting Florida to work in this combination could definitely work, guys. So it seems like the stall comp and then that other comp we had him in there running with Aziz and with those other heroes are, are the two that are going to be the most solid. I did a lot of research, guys. Talked to a lot of guildies. Um, went through, kind of ran a couple different formations that could possibly work with him. This was one of them that could definitely work. So Titus is... It seems like he's really going to have a use, but even there, guys, he takes a considerable amount of damage, which we're going to have to figure out exactly. I'm not sure if it's going to mean building him with the engraving system to really get up his strength, but in addition, guys, I know I'm a little bit deficient when it comes to the Elder Tree and having that at least level 25 Elder Tree, so I feel like we could really make this work with the survivability in there. So, guys, that is Titus. If you're building him, please let me know where you're using him. If you're utilizing him in the campaign, different stages, um, what formations you're running him in. 
I feel like if we can get him an artifact and we can also get him some engraving to increase that survivability is going to be a really powerful combination for him. So again, guys, let me know where you guys are using him. And as always, thank you guys for watching.